Hello everyone, let's solve problem 2 reverse array in groups. Let's understand the problem statement. You will be given an array of length n. We need to divide this array into possible subgroups where each group should contain at max k elements. So now we can divide this array into two groups where first group will have three elements, second group will have two elements. Reverse the first group, reverse the second group. That's it. This is what the expected output. So let's understand how can we solve this. So initialize the start index as 0 and index will be either k-1 or n-1 whichever is minimal. Then we need to reverse this current group. Once we are reversing the current group we should move on to the next group. For that hold the current n variable into temp n variable. So just take a swap of start and end and increment the start index decrement the end index now you see we are done with the reversing of first group let's move on to the second group so we already hold it previous end into temp and variable update the start index as temp and plus one and index will be either n minus one or temp and plus k so just uh, reinitialize temp and equal to current end so again you can take a swap of start and end and increment the start decrement the end now you see my start index is already moved n minus 1 index we are done with the processing so let's understand the time complexity so this is a linear uh, we are just traversing the array so the time complexity will be linear and the space complexity is we are not taking any additional memory the space complexity will be constant. So let's solve this. Simply initialize the start as 0 and the end will be whichever is minimal whether it is n minus 1 or k minus 1 then this is your temp end. So we need to process this as long as your start index is less than n where n represents size of the input array so uh, before processing before reversing current group so initialize the temp end as n then reverse the current group so start less than n and uh, hold the current start into temp variable then update the start with end then update the end with start which is present in temp variable increment the start decrement the end done so once this logic this this logic will always reverse the current group so once we are done with the current group we should move on to the next group for that update the start equal temp end plus one and the and equal whichever is minimal so whether it is n minus 1 or temp and plus k that's it so let's run then submit That's it. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy the session. Please do subscribe and share.